Hey folks, I'm Joshua Harris and this is More in Lenore. Welcome to the second episode of More in Lenore. Um, as you can see, I'm at the Mulberry Recreation Center and we're gonna be talking about parks and recreation. But first, I'm gonna give you a few news items and then talk about some upcoming events the, uh, for news. The uh, Public Works Department started paving a new section of Greenway in Lenore last week. Uh, the section is known as the Rail Trail. That's the old railroad that runs through town from Morganton Boulevard to Sealed Air on NC90. Uh, the Public Works Department hopes to have that finished by the end of the year. Council members Chrissy Thomas and Reverend Ike Perkins are hosting the 6th Annual Community Turkey Tuesday, November 26th at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. Um, residents can donate turkeys or cash to help support this event. To make donations, call Council Member Thomas at 240-461-4024. Yes, it's okay to call. Public Works will pick up leaves through Friday, January 10th. Residents should rake leaves into piles behind the curb or ditch line and remove all the bricks and rocks, sticks or glass. Those things can injure employees and damage our equipment. Alright, we have some events coming up. Um, the Malia Michael Half Marathon is Saturday, November 2nd at 9 a.m. at the Lenore Rotary Soccer Complex. The American Red Cross will host a blood drive Tuesday, November 5th from 9.30 to 2 p.m. at Mulberry Recreation Center. Right here. Not here in the gym though. I think it's over there in that multi-purpose room, right. We'll also have a Veterans Day celebration Monday, November 11th uh, from 12 to 1.30 p.m. in downtown Lenore. Light Up Lenore will be Thursday, November 21st from 4 to 10 p.m. in downtown Lenore. Then the Downtown Lenore Christmas Festival will be Saturday, November 23rd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in downtown Lenore. Turkey Tuesday will be Tuesday, November 26th at 5 p.m. at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. And then to wrap up the holidays, we'll have the Starry Night Christmas Parade Friday, December 6th at 6.30 p.m. in downtown Lenore. That's it for the news and events. Now we're going to have Kenny Story join me and we're going to talk about parks and recreation in the city. All right, I'm here with Parks and Recreation Director Kenny Story at Mulberry Recreation Center. Kenny, thanks for letting us come out today. Thanks for being here, Josh. Oh, yeah. So we're going to talk about Parks and Recreation in the city. Okay. So let's start off, just tell me about the department. I mean, how many people work here? What do you guys do? Do you have divisions? Let's just start there. Okay, our uh, Parks and Recreation Department consists of 19 full-time employees. All right. We also have 62, around 62 part-time employees. Uh, our department, Hold on. 62 part-time employees? 62 part-time employees. That is, consists of lifeguards, concession workers, also uh, sports officials. Wow. All of those are considered part-time employees. Okay. Um, we used to have contract services, but our part-time people are part of the city payroll. Awesome. So uh, we have a lot of those guys. Okay. So 19 full-time, 62 part-time. All right, go ahead. Okay, our 19 full-time people technically consist of anything from athletic directors to center managers, aquatics managers, uh, parks and grounds superintendents, parks and grounds uh, laborers. Uh, we also have three full-time custodians. Uh, we have an administrative assistant here at Mulberry Rec for the department, uh, as well as a office manager at the Lenore Aquatic and Fitness Center. Uh, also, we have an evening secretary at the Aquatic Center. Uh, then we have a few part-time employees that work centers at night. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's a lot of folks, but you have a lot of things going on. We have a lot of folks. Uh, we have a lot of good employees uh, here in the department. Uh, a lot of them are long-time employees, especially my full-time employees. Uh, Part-time people comes and goes, but uh, that's what you got when you got lifeguards yeah. and uh, concession workers and things like that. Most of those lifeguards, concession workers are your high school kids, some college kids, and things like that. Okay. So we, we have a lot going on. Excellent. 
Um, one thing that I wanted to uh, talk about before we get too far into everything Parks and Recreation does, which is a lot, is the uh, Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. Right. I think a lot of people might not know uh, that we have that board and what that board does. So um, tell me the purpose of that board, um, how many people are on it, and what it does. Okay. The uh, Parks and Recreation Advisory Board is basically a board made up of uh, nine members. Uh, basically, they are uh, city of Lenore uh, residents. We can have two non-city residents on that board. Uh, technically, that board oversees uh, some of the things that we do to help uh, get uh, things uh, for the department, uh, like new parks, uh, grants. Uh, basically, they are a legionnaire for our department okay. uh, to help with uh, anything that uh, uh, we need. They're not technically employees, mm -hmm. but they do uh, help with uh, events that we do and things like that. So, so they board. they kind of they kind of um, are liaisons between the public and the Parks and Rec staff and the City Council. They kind of say this is what people are talking about in the community. These are some things that they are interested in, and then they relay that information to y'all, right? That is correct. And how often do you meet? We meet six times per year. Uh, we meet February, March, and April and then we be, meet August, September, October. Uh, first uh, Tuesday, uh, excuse me, the third uh, uh, Monday of those months that I just mentioned. Okay. So uh, it's a good board, we have good members. Uh, a lot of them have been on there for a while, but uh, they uh, do a lot of great things. And that's us. open to, those meetings are open to the public? Right? Those meetings yeah. are open to the public, yes sir. And you can find out information about those meetings on the city website, of course. So. All right, let's talk about parks and recreation. Okay. Um, let's start off with facilities like this. How many recreation centers do you have? Uh, where are they and, and are, are, do they have any specific purposes? Okay, basically we've got three facilities, recreation centers that are staffed. Okay. That would include the one you're at, the Mulberry Recreation Center, which basically houses the administration staff, uh, which is myself and the administrative assistant. Uh, plus the athletic director and also our senior manager. Uh, basically this facility handles the uh, brunt of the athletic programs uh, throughout the uh, department. Um, basically we have uh, two multi-purpose rooms here that houses the uh, blood mobiles, uh, some of the classes that we will talk about a little bit later All right. uh, at this facility. Also we have the Martin Luther King Center which is located on Greenhaven Drive. Uh, right off of 321. Uh, that facility is basically a community center and the reason we call it a community center because it's located technically in the community of the Freedman community uh, which has been there a long time. Was that center built before this center? Uh, no sir. Okay. Uh, For some reason I thought that but no. This one was first. This, one, this okay. building here was built in the uh, mid 60s uh, and that one up there was the early 70s. Okay. So they're, they're pretty close together. All right. But uh, that facility basically uh, is a community center. Of course, we do uh, do some athletics there also, but we have more community-oriented programs up there uh, at that facility. And I'll speak about those a little bit later when we get on to classes right. and things like that. Uh, the other center that we have uh, is the Lenore Aquatic and Fitness Center, which is located on Powell Road. Uh, people that are not familiar with it. It is a uh, aquatics facility which houses uh, two pools, mm -hmm. uh, Olympic size outdoor pool and a 25 meter indoor pool. Uh, basically we have racquetball courts, we have weight rooms, uh, we also teach some classes there. Uh, really unique facility uh, which was built uh, Early 70s. Okay. Uh, nice facility. So we have Mulberry Recreation Center, Martin Luther King Jr. Center, and the Lenore Aquatic and Fitness Center. Yes, sir. And then we have lots of parks. Can you remember all the parks? I can remember all, all right. the parks. Tell me all the parks. All the parks, basically, and we'll start with our downtown. Technically, we have the J.E. Broyhill Park, okay. uh, which is located on Ridge Street. Then we have the T.H. Broyhill Walking Park. Uh, then we have the West End Community Park which is located over in the West End community. Also, we have the uh, Lenore Soccer Complex, uh, which is located on Zach's Fork Road. Also, we have Wilson Park, which is located on Powell Road. Um, and technically, that 
is well, if we want to mention parks, we can mention parks as a green waste, but that's green located. Green waste. Yeah, we'll count there. that six. So, uh, and also, uh, I guess we wouldn't we, include the park here at the center, but I mean we have a nice outdoor park that's right, here. We do. And then yeah. the Optimus Park across the, the street. The Optimus Park. Uh, we consider those parks, but we do have amenities on those. So uh, uh, technically, um, and I was looking at this early, and you might need to edit this, but uh, we do have a small park which is located on uh, Highland Avenue that most people are not aware uh -oh. of. Uh, there's really nothing there, Josh, but uh, uh, park benches and things like that. Uh, it's uh, located on Highland Avenue, All right. and most people are not familiar so with So we that. need to add that. We do need to add we'll that. add it. We can always add things. Yes. All right. Um, so we have three recreation centers, at least seven parks, depending on yes. if you include Mulberry. And what kinds of um, programs do we offer for uh, children and adults? Okay. Basically, uh, if we want to start out with uh, our athletic programs, basically we uh, uh, offer youth baseball, youth basketball, youth wrestling. Uh, we have Lenore uh, Youth Soccer Association, which does the soccer program here in Lenore. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a co-sponsor of that through the city, uh, which is a big program. Uh, those are the major uh, athletic events that we have. Now, do those happen um, basically all year long? Do you have some kind of athletic program happening all year? We have some type of athletic program happening all year. Uh, uh, the only uh, thing that we do in the summer months is we have two basketball leagues, one here at the Mulberry mm -hmm. Rec Center and one at the uh, Martin Luther King Center. Summertime programs are hard to uh, do athletics because a lot of people are uh, vacationing and uh, you know kids are out of school and things like that. Sure. But uh, those are, uh, we have something going on all the time. Mm -hmm. That's in fact, we say, we, you have sign-ups going on right now for? Youth basketball and youth wrestling. Mm -hmm. So, and you have a new coach. We have a new coach. Which we might can mention. You can do that. Tell me a little bit about him. Uh, the new coach is uh, Hayden Wyke for our youth wrestling program. Hayden was an outstanding uh, uh, student athlete at High Brighton High School that will be coaching our athletic uh, youth wrestling program this year. He is uh, a two-time state uh, champion in wrestling and also a one-time champion in football at High Brighton High School. Awesome. So, we're fortunate to have him. Uh, uh, wrestling is a different sport. Uh, not really, but uh, when you do wrestling, you got to make sure you have someone there with, that's got the ties to it that and knows, uh, what, they're knows doing. what they're doing a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But uh, we're, we're fortunate to get him in here. I think he'll do a great job for us. And, uh, Excellent. We will, uh, we're looking forward to that. Okay. So um, in, in addition to the uh, youth sports and athletics, what other programs do you have for kids? I know we have lots of classes. We have some camps. Then we can talk about some things we have for adults. Okay. Uh, Class-wise, uh, for kids, uh, we offer any, anything from uh, uh, taekwondo classes, karate classes, gymnastics. Uh, we do uh, summer camps. Uh, as far as we do a uh, week-long summer camp uh, each year uh, when the kids are out of school. Uh, this past year we had it at the Martin Luther King Center. Mm -hmm. This year he'll, we rotate them year in, year out. Uh, we will uh, have this year's camp here at Mulberry. Uh, we take up to 30 students uh, and during that time we do things with them, uh, take them to aquatic center, movies, do uh, educational things with them, arts and crafts. So uh, Roller skating. Roller skating, uh, been to crawdads games. Uh, Visit our police canines. Police canines, a uh, little bit of everything yeah. involved in that. And it's a, uh, it's a great summer camp. Uh, also, we try to do some athletic camps uh, with some of the uh, high school coaches. Uh, sometimes we do get uh, some of the out-state coaches down mm -hmm. and uh, as far as the uh, soccer camps, the App State coaches come down, does those. We have some basketball camps. Also, we uh, do some baseball camps as well. So, uh, a, lot a lot going on. A lot going on. Uh, which is awesome. Yeah. Which is awesome. Uh, as far as other programs, uh, we... Uh, Let's talk about things we have for adults, for example. Okay. We for, have something here in the background happening for adults. We yeah. do. Uh, for adults, we basically, uh, the adult programs are not as large as uh, 
the uh, uh, youth programs. Uh, sure. Uh, it's not just here in Lenore, it's, it's across the country yeah. and, and the state. But uh, we have pickleball. We also do some uh, adult basketball tournaments on the weekends uh, uh, throughout basketball season. Uh, of course, uh, the adults, we, uh, we've got our greenways, which they like to uh, walk, run, bike, mm -hmm. uh, uh, things like that. So uh, we do. Then we have all the fitness cap fitness classes at the Aquatic Center. We have all the fitness classes. Uh, I mentioned uh, Taekwondo and Karate earlier in our youth uh, program. That is open to adults too. Oh, really? So, uh, uh, those are uh, great, great classes. Get you some. <laughs> uh, but uh, my kids would love that. Do. I think I'm going to sign them up for Taekwondo. The guy we have teaching, his name is Michael Logan. Uh, Mike is probably in uh, 60, a little over 60 years old. Uh, it's taught self-defense for the uh, college uh, mm -hmm. law enforcement uh, super guy, uh, so he, he's a great guy. But we have a lot of uh, a lot of things for uh, for everybody. That's our Logan Josh, uh, something for everyone. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. So uh, there certainly is. There's something for everyone, and uh, if you have any uh, any questions about anything uh, about those programs, feel free to call us here at the Mulberry Rec Center or visit the city website. City website always. Um, I will so we match, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, I will mention, like uh, Josh said, we do have all the fitness classes at the Aquatic Center, which, uh, which includes uh, water aerobics, uh, yoga, Zumba, uh, cardiac conditioning, uh, things like that. Uh, we have a lot of programs out there, so uh, we do have a lot of classes uh, for the adults uh, to do as far as uh, staying healthy. Yeah, the racquetball courts are really nice, and the um, exercise room you have over there, over there is really nice as well. So if you haven't been by to visit the Aquatic Center, certainly uh, take a trip over and check it out. Please do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we have three recreation centers. We have six or seven parks. We have, I didn't keep track of all the classes and athletics programs. And then we also have lots of events. Lots right? of you guys events. sponsor lots of events throughout the year. Can you remember them all and go through? I will do my best. Let's try. Uh, let, let's, uh, can I mention one other thing yeah, while of course. we're here? Um, I, we left it out there a minute ago about facilities, but we do uh, operate the uh, Lenore High School gym, which is oh, yeah. uh, not staffed. Uh, that facility basically, uh, uh, we do uh, youth wrestling practice up there. We do some basketball practices. We also let the uh, police department do their training there. We do uh, rent it out every so often for, uh, especially for Lenore High School uh, uh, reunions and things like mm -hmm. that. So we have done that. We also have the Lenore High School Auditorium, mm -hmm. which is uh, right there beside it on College Avenue. Uh, in uh, that facility, we have uh, all kind of programs. Uh, technically, uh, uh, we have dance recitals. Uh, we have churches uh, use it for some events for their uh, for their churches, uh, we have uh, we've had bands in there. Uh, we do movies in there, things like that. So those uh, those two facilities are the oldest two that we have. Uh, but uh, and we're looking at and we're looking at making some improvements we over are there. We're looking so. at uh, making improvements. Yes, sir. More on that later. There yeah. you go. More on that later. More later. All right, let's talk about events. What events does the Park and Parks and Recreation Department sponsor throughout the year? Okay, the events that the Parks and Recreation Department uh, do throughout the year, uh, and I'll try to do these in order, and I don't, I don't know if I can, but, I, but I'll try. Oh, wow. We are at the Recreation Center. We are. Does anybody need this back? Sorry, all right, events. Okay, events. Uh, basically, uh, we, we do a uh, Easter egg hunt, All right. Uh, which is around Easter. Uh, then right shortly after that, uh, uh, this year uh, was our first uh, annual back, uh, out of school bash. End of school bash. End of school bash. That was fun. Uh, which was great. Uh, technically, uh, and I will say this, uh, uh, if I don't, I might get in trouble, but uh, not really. But uh, these city events, these events that we do are all uh, uh, supported very well by our whole city staff. Uh, uh, police department, fire department, public works, all of them. So, uh, you know, just let me throw that in there. Before yeah, it we takes all the departments it, it to really. It takes all the departments to run it. But the Easter egg hunt, then we had the uh, end of school uh, 
uh, bass this year, which mm -hmm. is a great event. It was a uh, first time event, was attended well. Uh, then next we come around and we have the um, um, July 4th celebration, which a lot of people are aware of, being going like on that. for a long, which is a great event. Uh, then we do uh, uh, the uh, Halloween uh, carnival, which will be held uh, this week, which mm -hmm. this will probably not be uh, aired by then, but yeah. uh, at the on MIT, Halloween, on Halloween, October 31st, uh, and then we also do. Uh, uh, the Christmas Parade for uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, that is a co-sponsor with the uh, downtown, downtown Lenore. Uh, downtown Lenore, but uh, we are in charge of lining that up and uh, things like that. So uh, we have a lot of events. I uh, mentioned these. We also do uh, uh, half marathon for Malia Michael, which mm -hmm. you uh, uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, also, we do 5Ks and 10K runs throughout the year uh, at the Aquatic Center. Uh, so we, uh, we have something going on just about uh, year-round as far as events. Yeah, and we also have the uh, Black History Month Festival. Black History Month. And events, uh, I guess have, January and February, and the MLK. At the MLK. Mm -hmm. Also, we have the uh, Harambe Festival, mm -hmm. which is held every year uh, up at our Martin Luther King Center, which is a great event. It's a week-long event uh, that we do uh, with that. Uh, so uh, the Harambe Festival is a big event for, for Lenore. Uh, been going on about 47 years. Yeah, it's so, the longest festival we've had. That's correct. So that's um, a lot of the events we do out the year. Sometimes we try to throw in uh, something new every now and then, just to uh, just like this past year, the end of school block. Yeah. Uh, so, and this year also we did an event at the uh, LAFC. Uh, it was a back to school bash for for the kids where we had uh, free swim day for them. Uh, where we gave away uh, backpacks, school supplies, and things like that. So, Just an FYI, I want to do a polar plunge at the Aquatic Center. I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not, but I'm trying to make it happen. Okay, in addition to uh, J.E. Broyhill Park, we're making improvements at the uh, Optimus Park. Tell me about that project, uh, when that started, and what the plan is. Okay, the Optimus Park uh, project, uh, basically about five years ago, the Optimus Club uh, couldn't... Uh, uh, take care of the property anymore so they donated the land to the uh, city so basically uh, we took over that project about five years ago and uh, uh, applied for a grant applied for a grant through the North Carolina Parks and Recreation Trust Fund uh, which we received uh, about three and a half years ago uh, the project total project cost for that uh, project was uh, four hundred twenty seven thousand uh, dollars and that was for some improvements for, here at the Mulberry Rec and the Optimus Park. That is correct. Uh, technically, the improvements, uh, let me say that the, the part of grant is what we call a 50-50 match grant, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, which you get 50% uh, from, uh, from the state and the city has to match 50%. But with that grant, uh, technically, the, uh, when you get grants like that, you can use the land value as right. part of your match. So uh, that was uh, matched with that. So uh, the city doesn't uh, have 50% in it, but- uh, We've got uh, the land in it. We've got the land in it, so mm -hmm. it's great. Uh, the project was consisted uh, of the Mulberry and Optimus Park project, just for the fact that we needed a couple of more updates at the uh, Mulberry uh, facility here. And that included uh, lighting one more softball baseball field here at the uh, Mulberry Rec Center and also adding a uh, new tennis court. Mm -hmm. uh, so those were the two things that were added here at Mulberry. So lighting and a tennis court here at Mulberry and then what are we adding over there at the Optimus Park? We're adding lighting one, uh, one uh, girl softball baseball field, uh, also adding two new picnic shelters, adding permanent court hole boards, awesome. uh, outdoor uh, B2 sets. Uh, also, Hold on. for the cornhole boards, will you have the cornhole bags here? Like, can we just come over and borrow the bags? Or? We will have cornhole boards here for people to come in and uh, uh, use. Uh, so hopefully that's going to be a great thing for us over yeah. there. Uh, if people have their own cornhole, yeah. uh, they can uh, bring their own. But uh, uh, also a, a brand new playground facility, a uh, 40... 45 to 50 space parking lot uh, uh, will be added over there. 
and also a uh, walking path around the uh, facility. Excellent. To get from uh, uh, place to place. And the last thing will be, uh, we will be adding two new restrooms and also uh, updating the existing concession stand. Cool. Uh, this project, uh, like I said, it's a three year, three year project and we're hoping to be completed on this by the end of this year, if everything goes well. Uh, just perfect weather. Perfect weather. Nobody double books construction yeah. schedules or anything like that? Not happening. Okay. But, uh, um, speaking of the park over there, uh, you mentioned lighting the uh, softball field. We have, a lot more, um, soft, we have a lot more ball happening over there this year, right? Yes, sir. Tell me, tell me who's going to be playing over there and, um, and also, I think, in downtown, right? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Josh, we've got, uh, uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, the uh, Caldwell Community College uh, started girl, women's softball and uh, men's baseball this season for the first year. Uh, they don't have facilities on their campus, so they approached us and asked if uh, they could uh, use uh, one of our fields uh, at the Oxmas Park, uh, which is perfect for uh, uh, women's softball. So they will be participating and playing their games uh, uh, at the Optimus Spark. Uh, matter of fact, they uh, have had one home game over there uh, this fall season, but the true season for softball uh, will be in the spring. So they'll be playing a lot of games at that park. And the men's team is using the uh, historic downtown uh, stadium, which is Walker Stadium, for their men's baseball program. So, uh, Will they start up in the spring too? or They have a fall season as well. They've played a few games at Walker Stadium, but they will okay. be playing in the spring. All right. So we have softball here at Optimus Park, and then we'll have baseball at Walker Stadium. Yes, sir. Good deal. And then you made some improvements here at Mulberry Recreation Center with uh, the new goals, right? That's correct. We've made a few improvements over uh, over this year, uh, you know, in the last uh, probably five months uh, to a couple of our facilities. Here at Mulberry Recreation Center, as you can see, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it in our background here. But, we'll get some uh, video. Uh, these, uh, these goals and backboards uh, are some of the original ones that were placed in this gym. So uh, the, the main goals uh, and the backboards have been replaced here at Mulberry uh, with, uh, used to, we used to have a crank them up by hand uh, now we can uh, use a key, uh, a key to lower those and uh, raise them to the ceiling. Um, and it makes and it possible to play different um, age groups of games here. Right? Yes. One improvement we wanted to do this for um, our youth base, uh, basketball program, um, the uh, eight and under kids play uh, on an eight foot goal. And in years past, those old goals would not come down. So we basically had to use a Hang up basket, mm. uh, uh, basketball goal and backboard. But you so, can't use those uh, for tournaments. You cannot use those for tournaments, so it's going to help us as, uh, as far as hosting uh, youth tournaments uh, awesome. with that. So, uh, the other improvements that we've made uh, this year, and I'll mention real quickly, is uh, we had the uh, two tennis courts at MLK Center mm -hmm. uh, resurfaced, and that project has been completed as those well. Those look good. So, uh, a lot going on, a uh, lot more to come. Awesome. Anything else you want to add about the uh, Parks and Recreation Department? Anything we missed? I think we covered it all. I'll just say that uh, if you haven't f uh, visited our facilities or uh, uh, come by to uh, play any uh, athletic events, uh, come by and see us, give us a call, check us out on uh, the city website, and uh, we'll be more than glad to uh, help you out. And I will mention one other thing that uh, we might have left out. Um, is that uh, we do rent our, uh, our facilities, uh, some of our facilities. Um, uh, a lot of rentals that we get are basically um, shelter rentals and multi-purpose room rentals and also uh, uh, we do rent out the uh, Lenore High School Auditorium for events and things like that. So uh, uh, if you're looking for a baby shower or a wedding reception, uh, birthday uh, party, birthday party, whatever it may be, come by and see us. We'd be glad to try and help you. Well, thank you, Kenny. I appreciate it. Thank you, Josh.